in the light of the polls that have come out in the last few days, a lot of people are saying, what's the point in voting for a small party like United Future this year? Isn't my vote just going to be wasted? Are you guys going to make it? Or wouldn't we just be better off voting for one of the big two, even if we're not particularly enthusiastic about either of them? Well, there is a point in voting for United Future. There's a very strong reason and point of difference for us that should get your support. It's as simple as this. Whether it be National leading the next government or Labour that leads the next government, they're going to need a partner who is reliable. I don't just mean reliable in the sense of being good at the process, but is reliable in terms of the policy. If it's a national-led government, they'll want to know that they've got a partner who's prepared to work with them to ensure that New Zealand's economic competitiveness and opportunity remains, but who at the same time isn't going to let nationals flinty-faced approach to social policy, to health and education, get in the way of doing the right thing. So we'll be there to ensure that, yes, the economy runs well and efficiently, but there's also a sense of compassion and a sense of honour about the sorts of things we do in health and education and welfare. Now, on the other side of the coin with Labour, well, they certainly need some strong economic guidance, and we'll make sure that they continue to get that, and that they continue to put issues like tax reform top of their agenda. But the really big fear people have about Labour are all the isms that go with it. Every trendy political ism you can imagine is tied up somewhere in what Labour does. And so what they need is a partner that will knock the isms either into shape or off the scene altogether and allow it to focus on governing in the interests of the mainstream majority of New Zealanders. So that's United Future's unique role. Yes, it is to keep them honest but it's also to make sure that they deliver on policies which are attainable, which are sound and which are beneficial to families, communities and to New Zealand as a whole.